Now, teachers at the Bola DA Primary School in the Pandai District of the Northern Region continue to abandon classrooms for farming. As Stanley Niblo reports, the fate of pupils hangs in the balance as they are not taught by teachers. In September last year, the mission team visited the Bola DA Primary School, situated at a strategic location in the Bola community. The school provides formal education to close to 100 pupils, but teaching and learning is not effective, as teachers, who are the main stakeholders, do not regularly attend school. As a result, pupils are losing out. The mission team's investigations reveal that district authorities do not frequent the area to undertake monitoring activities due to the long distance they would have to cover from Pandai, the district's capital. This has given teachers the luxury to stay away from school and deprive pupils of their right to education. During our previous visit to the Bola Basic School on a Monday morning, pupils had reported to school in their numbers. However, there were no teachers at the school, and so pupils were whiling away instructional hours, playing football in the classrooms. At midday, when no teacher had still reported, the pupils went home. The head teacher, Abaraka Rahman, who was accused for allegedly embezzling PTA dues, later approached and wanted the reporter to kill the story. What are you suggesting? That I shouldn't do the story at all? So now we are I shouldn't do the story at all? So that? That one, that one will not work. If any cost, we, we can bear it. That one, we will have a very happy. After TV3 went ahead to broadcast the story, Abarukaraman was transferred, leaving his colleague Brian Mafuseni in the school. Two other teachers were then posted to the Bola school to support Brian Mafuseni to run the school. With this change, parents have high hopes in anticipation of improvement in teaching and learning, but this has turned to be a mirage. On Friday, March 29th this year, the team decided to go back to the school and ascertain what has changed since our first visit. Although afraid, the team still had to go. Riding for about two hours, the team finally arrived in the school. To our amazement, the team met an empty school as at 9 a.m. Our investigations in the community revealed pupils reported to school but they were compelled to go home because teachers did not come to school. Teachers of this school are constantly demonstrating the habit of not coming to school. Today is 29th March 2019. It's a Friday and pupils are supposed to be in school, but they have all gone home simply because there are no teachers to teach them. The pupil said, that was the second time their teachers had absented themselves from school in a week. We guarded one of the teachers, Brahma Fuseni, after shunning class, came for three of the pupils and sent them to his yam farm. This was confirmed by the chairman of the Parents' Teacher Association. The teacher did not inform me before sending the pupils to the farm. We will ensure he's been sermoned to explain why he had to engage the pupils on farms. In the evening of the same day, the team met Brian Mafuseni in town with a friend. When the team approached him, he told the mission team he did not go to school because he feels a burning sensation in his heart, but has never bothered to seek medical attention. District Chief Executive for Pandai, Emmanuel Atta Tatablata, said issues of teacher absenteeism would be addressed. We need not to rush. We need to take our time so that we don't step on so many people's tools. In attempt of doing the right thing, we don't step so many people's tools. You must step, but it should be in a gradual process. Pandai District Education Director Nayan Faustina is yet to visit the school. Achieving the universal access to education and lifelong learning in Bola would require stakeholders' commitment. The Ghana Education Service must also intensify its monitoring, especially in the hinterland communities, to guarantee equal access to education for all. Stalin Nibliu, 
TV3 News, Bula, Pandai, Northern Region. Quite an unfortunate development there, but that's all for Mission tonight. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU.